Hi, I'm Danny Nightmare, and I'm a horror addict, and today, I'd like to talk about some reading. So now it's the year 2021, and I don't know about you, but I personally did a lot of reading in my quarantine time. I read all of the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo books, that entire Millennium series, the ones done by Steg Larson, and even the ones done by David Lagerkrantz, after Larson sadly passed away. I also read The Fox and the Hound. No, 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 not the Disney version. The actual novel written by Daniel P. Mannix. And, oh well, spoiler alert, it is not all happy and fun like the Disney version, okay? Even that version was a little sad in its own way, but this version is uh, pretty gruesome. In fact, the fox and the hound were never friends. They are just bitter enemies from the get-go. And Todd's kind of a cocky dick, and Copper's just an old asshole. Like, he's never a cute puppy. He's the dick dog from the beginning. Chief's actually younger than him in the book, and he hates Chief, and when Chief dies, he's happy about it. I also finally got around to reading Joe Hill's 20th Century Ghosts. That's a great anthology, and a weird anthology. Most of them are just really cool, but then there's some that are like, they're cool, and I love them, and like, they're, they're in my head. Like, uh, there's one where there's balloon people is a thing. There's also a cool one where it's like, kind of like this guy finds his old cape from when he was a kid and, and kind of gives him powers. It's, it reminds me of Brightburn because he's not a good person. Anyways, I, there's probably plenty of other things I read last year, like some guar graphic novels and stuff. However, I think 2021 is going to be a little bit of a better year, but I still think I'm going to be doing a lot of reading. So I already got my next few books planned out and I thought I'd share them with you. What I'm already currently reading right now is Local Haunts, a horror tube anthology. This is several different stories written by several different horror tubers, like my man CJ Wright, who told me about it. He got Regina St. Clair, who's the editor, to send me a free copy. I skipped ahead and read CJ's The Salt Hag. I mean, I didn't skip far. He was like the third story in the book. Then went back and read the first two stories. Also very good. I've gotten a few of them in so far. Uh, just finished Regina St. Clair's story, Mount Galeed, and I heavily enjoyed it. So far, none of the stories have been a miss. But I, you know, still gotta finish it off. Here at Horror Addicts, we're all about building and just trying to bring together the horror community online. I love to support my fellow horror tubers. Great job on this book. I'm enjoying it so much right now and I can't put it down. There's a link down below if you'd like to check it out yourself. I highly recommend this, but not just to all you horror-loving viewers, but to my fellow horror tubers out there who make content on the web. You should support your brothers and sisters and hey, who knows, you might end up wanting to review it yourself. There's a lot of uh, great authors in here that I didn't even know were fellow horror tubers, but now that I do, I've looked them up and I'm following them online. And thank you, Regina St. Clair. That was really thoughtful of you, not only to send me a nice personal note, but the book itself, and I'm loving it so far. Just want to say good job, guys. And after I finish that book, I've got I Survivor lined up about Andrew Young. He was the sole survivor in Hatchet 3. And then in Victor Crowley, he's selling this book. He's doing a tour. He's going back to the swamp where it all began. Just to, I don't know, get some closure or some shit? A uh, bad mistake, because then Victor Crowley comes from the grave and he's got to try and survive it all over again. Okay, I've told you a thousand times, I'm never going back to that swamp. They offered 600,000. However, Adam Green is not only an amazing director, but he is just the best when it comes to horror. Because seriously, this is how much detail he puts into his movies. He made a real book. This was written by him and Joe Netter, and they did an excellent job. It's about Andrew's life, about basically his point of view of what happened in Hatchet 3, and then what he was like, tried for murder, but then eventually they didn't have enough evidence on him, but a lot of people still think he's guilty. It's got all kinds of great stuff in this, and I can't wait to read it. Adam was even kind enough to autograph it for me, and if you still get it from Ariescopes.com, he'll probably autograph yours too. And also, on my Kindle, I bought a copy of Type 10 Competitor by Taylor Lee. From what I understand, it's a pretty cool sci-fi horror, if you're into that, about a marine named Logan. He's got to do all kinds of, like, competitions against aliens, fellow human marines, and, like, probably robots and shit to try and stay alive. It seems pretty interesting. Seems like an old Nintendo video game that would have had something like 2000 in its title. And that seems right up my alley. And if you're not completely sold on his standalone sci-fi horror, he's got a really cool anthology out there called The Patchwork Volume 1. With a bunch of cool, sweet little horror stories in it. And I think if you check it out, you'll understand why I am excited about Taylor Lee's new book. So, that's basically what I got planned to read so far. Oh yeah, plus this Evil Dead 2 
graphic novel that I got for Christmas by Jasco Games and Studio Canal. Look at that beautiful artwork, man. Look at that. Oh yeah, this is groovy. I can't wait, baby. <laughs> oh, dude. Love me some Evil Dead. Especially part two. That is my favorite movie, period. So, I am stoked to have this beautiful graphic novel of it. What? Picture books count too? Jeez. So thank you for watching my little vlog on horror reads that I plan to do. I really just wanted to get the word out there to my fellow horror tubers and some other cool authors and stuff that I think that have put a lot of time into their books that are well worth the read. So down in the comments below, please let me know what's on your current horror to read list. Cut!